What's up guys, welcome back. So we ended up getting some more stuff done on the 87 Mustang. We got the micro score ECU kit in, we got the wideband sensor in, and we got the boost gauge wired in. So we're getting a lot closer to starting up the car for the first time and getting it ready to street tune. So guys, take a look at this footage here and enjoy. All right guys, we're gonna go ahead and start installing the uh, micro score kit. First thing you're gonna wanna do, um, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, ditch the factory map sensor. This was located right here. And it has a little harness that plugs into it. It's right here. So essentially, you're gonna cut these three wires to splice these three wires in. And then you can mount this essentially where the factory one was. It's as simple as that. So we're gonna solder those wires on, get to it. And after you wire it in, dress it up with some tape, mount two bolts on the firewall here, Pretty much replace uh, the spot where the map sensor was, the factory one, and then plug in an airline. Make sure you secure some zip ties. That's it for the map sensor. All right, now it's time to install this harness adapter and the micro squirt into the car. All right, got the uh, computer out. Uh, this will not be reused. This will take its place. Just plugs. Back into this factory harness right here. Alright, this just plugs directly into the stock ECU harness, like so. Then you just start throwing in the bolt. Essentially you got these additional wires here. It's cool because they label them. Uh, the pink one here is for your wideband. This one here can run to um, a different a fan setup. This one is if you want to run a direct tack wire. So it's cool that they label them. Yeah, pretty neat setup. They can only go on one way. They got these tabs here. Got these tabs here. They only go on the harness one way. And uh, once it's tight, you can plug in your mega squirt or micro squirt. Again, it's directional here. It only goes on one way. Click. All right, it's pretty much installed, just like that. Okay, so this little uh, jack here, we're gonna run this to our serial port adapter. We're essentially gonna leave this in the glove box, that way you can uh, easily access it. We're just gonna route the wire down directly to the glove box here, get it plugged in. plenty of slack when you got room to use it. Then you just plug that there. Yeah, you got your connection made. Alright, now that's pretty much just putting the wires all back into place, put the kick panel back into place. Uh, we'll tackle these wires here shortly. Um, all we're going to be using is uh, this pink wire for my wideband. The other two wires I'll just tape up out of the way because I already have my fan set up that's already wired to a switch and a thermostat. And uh, my tack wire, I already have my aftermarket tech that's uh, spliced into the coil. So I'm not going to be using that either. Pretty cool. Very easy stuff. All right, guys, we got the micro squirt system in the car. We got the boost gauge in, we got the wideband gauge in. Everything's wired up and soldered in. So now we're going to calibrate the wideband gauge. So here we go. Uh, the gauge is in, we have the harness unplugged up front and the oxygen sensor out of the pipe. So all we're going to do is just cycle the key on. Alright, and you'll see it read E2. That means it's reading correctly that the sensor is not plugged in. So we're going to let this uh, sit like this for at least 30 seconds and then we'll cycle it off. Then we'll plug it back in, the harness that is, and then uh, we'll do the same thing, flip the switch on, then it should be calibrated. So we'll show you that guys here in just a second. 
All right, we plug the harness back in, so now we're gonna cycle the key back on. You see the results here. All right, so this will tell you that the uh, oxygen sensor that it comes with is heating up right now. And then it's gonna switch to Cal, which means that it's calibrating. After it does that for a short cycle, then it's gonna tell you what your AFR is. With the oxygen sensor still outside of the pipe that's gonna be mounted, um, should give you a high reading. So we'll let it run its course here. The instructions say it can take up to 60 seconds for it to do this. Okay, there we go. Now it's uh, calibrating. There we go. All right, so that's our air fuel right now in the open air because the oxygen sensor is not plugged in. So that, now we're reading 22.4. The system is calibrated. This is a pretty simple setup. So uh, we're ready to go. All right, guys. So that's going to pretty much do it for now. We got the whole new ECU kit uh, plugged into the car. All the wiring is done. Uh, again, we cycled through and you saw the wide band calibration. And we checked and saw that there was no fuel leaks, which is a good thing. And the only thing left to do now is actually uh, get it tuned. My buddy Derek will be coming over next week to, to do that. So at this point, we're pretty much finished. We're going to leave the front bumper and hood off the car for now. And we're going to wait to take across the jack stands just to verify for any leaks and anything for the first startup. So guys, that's going to do it for now. Stay tuned for the next video.